Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn uh, an option or a property of a parameter called a law null value. So if we need to pass a null value to the parameter, we can use this uh, option. But there are some things that we need to understand when uh, we provide the null value by using the parameter. And uh, there are a few things uh, that might not work uh, as uh, we expect. Uh, so we have to do some experiments uh, and learn it. Uh, let me show you a query that I'm going to use uh, for this report. Uh, so this is the query we will be using uh, for our main data set. Uh, and then uh, we'll be having uh, a region uh, parameter. So if you notice here, we have one of the value called uh, null. So once uh, we set this parameter accept a null, uh, it should return us a uh, one record at least so that value is called george cook that's the name of the person he sold one item uh, in a 200 dollar now let's take this query and go to the ssdt sql server data tools create a shared data source if you are creating multiple reports pointing to the same database so we are fine with that because we have a shared data source called sales and it is pointing to the sales database on this server hit okay Next, uh, right click on the reports uh, and add new item. Go to the report, select the empty report, uh, and now we have to provide uh, the uh, name of the report. Uh, so we call it a null value uh, single value parameter. This is not a multi value parameter, we are going to make another video on that one. So it is a single value parameter. So I hit uh, add. Now the report will be created uh, and this is empty. Let's uh, click on uh, the data sources. Here we have option to create uh, a shared data source uh, that we already have it and we can uh, use as a reference uh, or we can uh, create embedded uh, data source. Uh, so we, we are going to use a shared data source. Uh, so I'm going to call it uh, DS sales and here we will be using uh, use a uh, shared data source uh, reference. Uh, so we use the sales, hit OK. Go to the data set, uh, add data set. Data set is a result set uh, or a query results, uh, whatever you get from the query. And uh, in our case, we are going to call it D set and uh, sale total. And uh, we will use our text uh, in the query. You can use a store procedure if you like. So here we are going to select all those uh, columns from this table where we want to have a parameter where region uh, this column is equal to some parameter so I can call it a region name so that's how we will be creating a parameter we always say where and then uh, provide the column name and equal to in the, for single value we'll say equal to if you are using multi value you will be saying in so we, then we have to provide uh, the name of the parameter and in our case we have a region name so hit okay okay we need we are forgetting something we have to select the data source we are good now right click here insert and create a table get uh, some columns and uh, i would like to get uh, one of the column called the region because that's uh, where we are going to have a parameter we want to see if it is returning correct results or not so let's make some uh, changes here to make this reasonable uh, report let's uh, take this one a little more click here make it bold and give some background color now our report is ready here we have single value parameter right now if you remember our parameter should be able to accept any value and we have uh, asia north america and uh, uh, europe uh, regions and also we have null values so let's pass these values and see if it uh, work so let's uh, if i pass the asia it uh, worked just fine and return me all the records uh, from Asia region. Uh. Now let me go ahead and uh, pass a uh, null. So if I pass the null, it did not take uh, the null value. So this null uh, is not equal to null because this is a string we are passing uh, and uh, that null uh, is uh, uh, really null or unknown value. So if you see here, it is not a string null. So it is just a null uh, unknown value. So it is not equal to, that's why it did not return anything. Now let's go back here. We say, okay, let me go to the parameter properties. And here I say, right click parameter properties. And now I'm saying, okay, allow null value. So I'm telling you the parameter, okay, you are okay to accept the null value, fine. And then I'm gonna hit okay. Now, if you preview the report, it is giving you this option here. So it is passing a null value, but still our report is not working. Why the report is not working? We are gonna fix that right now. So if you 
provide this null this is how it is going to work so it is saying from this value where region is equal to null and that's not correct okay why i'm going to show you, you guys will say okay region has the null value why it's not equal to so if this null you are considering this null is equal to this null null is equal to never equal to null so these are unknown both are unknown you are not they cannot be equal to null so if i will say even null here so let's say null is equal to null let's see what happened now so still it's not equal to so that's why our report is not returning anything so we need to change our query a little bit if we will be replacing this null value with some static value maybe xyz or something or just blank and then it should work work just fine so now let's go back here in the design go to the query and here we will say is null if my value is null what you want to do i want to replace this one comma single quote single quote so just with the blank and on this side on the parameter as well if you get will get the null value fine i need to compare you because null is equal to not null so i need to compare with some hard values so i'm saying okay change the null value to the sing, uh, sing, uh, space uh, and by doing the space on the both side with the single quote and single quote so now they are equal so space is equal to uh, space that will work just fine so in this case uh, let's say if i will say this space is equal to this space so it is going to work just fine it will return you all those record but here as we are saying uh, equal to this this is making condition true so once we will have the value null coming only for one part then it will be replaced with the uh, blank space here so let's let me show you here we will write this query instead of just uh, saying uh, writing it here and we say is null and let me create a variable right here so we say uh, the rate the rate region what char 10 and now i will say set uh, the rate region is equal to null so you see i'm providing null value here for this uh, variable and then uh, i'm saying here in the comparison i'm saying is null if you see a null value in the region change that to the space here and same thing goes for that variable so at the rate region comma space space so now if you will compare this one this should return only one record so now let's go and run this query and you see this is how it is a return so this is the part we need to change in our query and that's what we are doing here so we are saying okay if you are getting a null value fine just change with the space and the compare it so you will get some results so we hit okay go back here and now you see that george cook is coming back it is still passing the null but we are using is null function to replace the null with the blank space and comparing it and it's working just fine so now if we want to pass another value we can go ahead and pass the value we are good the last part here we can uh, go ahead and maybe create a drop down uh, for region name instead of uh, just writing it here so let's go to the design one more time so this is a data set add data set and uh, in the data set we were going to call it d set region uh, and uh, we will say embedded data set the sales and we'll say select distinct uh, region from from table so we have table name let me take the table name from here total sale we are good here and now if we preview it we are not using it still we did not use the data data set in the region name parameter so we go to design go to the parameter properties and then uh, here we will be sending available values and uh, get values from the query so it is going to get uh, all the values from the query and uh, then uh, uh, show us in the drop down now we are going to use the data set region and here is the field value and the label in our case label and the field is the same label is uh, the name you want to show in the drop down if you have uh, two columns let's say one is short region uh, that's the value and long region description can be a label so you can uh, uh, provide that one now let's go to preview 
and we see that that null part that was here that is gone and now it is a shown as in the region so we are getting four four values one is null and then other are uh, asia north american region uh, Europe uh, that's coming from the table these all four values are coming from the that query we have a DS set region and uh, as we have set uh, the value to uh, allow null values it is shown as uh, in the drop down so now if we select null sorry select null and preview the report we are getting George Cook we select Asia we are getting the Asian region let me go back uh, and uh, if we go back here in the parameters and uh, say allow in the general sorry allow null values if we remove this part uh, what happened now even our query is returning uh, the four values uh, right in the first uh, when we were checking uh, or we had uh, allow null values uh, now still the query is uh, coming uh, the, it is it is the same data set uh, if you take a look here it is still the same data set uh, and uh, if you run this query in the SSMS uh, you will be getting four uh, values so one is null and three are non null values but just by removing that part allow null value or not this parameter whatever the values that will filter the null value or not so in this case remember if we will want to go to parameter property and say allow null value now from the d set region it will return us the four uh, records it still uh, will keep returning as four but uh, in the report it will not use that uh, null once we say allow null value it will uh, start using that so now go back here preview it and now the very first thing you can see is the null so that's how it is uh, working so thanks very much for watching this video and i hope this uh, little trick uh, uh, will help you when uh, you will create the reports uh, those need to accept uh, null value from the parameter thanks and i will see you in the next video